गुड मॉर्निंग एच ओडी प्रोफेसर ए के चतुर्वेदी सर मैं सेमिनार गाइड पंकज शर्मा सर सेमिनार कोऑर्डिनेटर डीपी शर्मा सर फैकल्टी मेंबर्स एग्जामिनर्स एंड माय फाइनल ईयर बैचमेट्स आई एम मेकर सक्सेना फर्स्ट वीक में बीटेक फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग राजस्थान टेक्निकल यूनिवर्सिटी कोटा टुडे आई एम प्लीज टू बी हियर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ऑल टू डिलीवर द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन माय सेमिनार टॉपिक नाइट्रो शॉक अब्सॉर्बर्स दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ लिस्ट ऑफ कंटेंट्स Nitrous shock absorbers are high quality nitrogen filled shocks designed to provide a comfortable ride. They are built with multi stage velocity sensitive valving to ensure the shock is capable of performing at any speed. The transformation of kinetic energy to heat energy takes place when the piston moves up and down in a cylinder filled with oil and forces the oil to move through them thus providing the damping effect. The need of the nitro shock absorbers arises when the vehicles pass most often through the bumpy roads. This causes the piston to move quickly through the oil located inside the working chamber. Due to the rapid movement of the fluid which takes place between the chambers during the rebound and compression strokes can cause foaming effect which is also known as cavitation. In this foaming effect the bubbles are formed inside the shock absorber which reduces the self resistance capability and damping effect nitrogen gas present in the nitro shock absorber keeps the fluid compressed and pressurized to reduce the possibility of foaming and thus increases the damping capacity and provides greater damping force leading to a consistent performance in nitro shock absorbers we use the nitrogen gas to reduce the foaming effect Question generally arises that why do we use nitrogen gas in nit in shock absorbers and why not air or any other gas? This is because nitrogen reduces the chance of moisture formation. Also, nitrogen gas is inert and hence do not react with other components. They expand at a constant rate as compared to the atmospheric air when it is heated. Another advantage is that they are lighter than air and oxygen and hence heats up less when compressed. is a non supporter of combustion unlike compressed air or oxygen nitrogen molecules are larger than oxygen molecules and hence will not leak out of the tubes there are two types of nitro shock absorbers namely nitro filled mono tube shock absorbers and nitro gas filled twin tube shock absorbers nitro gas filled mono tube shock absorber as the name suggests has only one tube and contains two compartments which are separated by a separating piston The upper compartment is the working chamber which is fully filled with oil and the lower compartment is expansion chamber which is charged with high pressure nitrogen gas between 25 to 35 bars. During compression when the piston rod moves down the compression valve inside the piston moves and opens and some of the oil moves towards the upper working chamber. The downward motion of the piston also makes the separating piston to move downward thereby compressing the gas. The high pressure gas does not allow the piston to move quickly and thus prevent the foaming. During the rebound, piston starts to move upward and rebound valve opens to make the oil flow back to the lower working chamber. The separating piston also moves upward thus reducing the gas pressure causing it to rebound. There are various designs of nitro gas filled mono tube shock absorber. One of them is a reservoir shock. Reservoir shocks have a separate reservoir in which the nitrogen gas is present. They can have the reservoir connected with a hose to the main shock body like in remote reservoir shocks or reservoir can be directly connected with a main shock body like in piggy pack shocks. These shocks provide much larger area for oil and gas to travel thus increasing the ride quality. Advantages offered by nitro gas filled mono tube shock absorber are they are easy to install and can be mounted at any angle. They are also have a larger surface area to spread to spread the load distributing pressure evenly over the entire shock. They are lighter in weight. Single tube construction also allows for the larger internal working area reducing stress and fatigue for better durability. Now let's look at some disadvantages. High amount of stress on the seals due to high pressure nitrogen gas. Stiffer rise as a result of high pressure gas. Any external damage will affect the inner cylinder. Maintaining the sufficient stroke is difficult because the oil and the gas chambers are positioned serially. Another type of nitro shock absorbers is nitro gas filled twin tube shock absorbers. 
These have two chambers, mainly working chamber which is fully filled with oil and the reserve chamber partially filled with oil and low pressure nitrogen gas between 2.5 to 5 bars. Attached to the piston rod is a piston having the flow valve and rebound valve. At the bottom, a base valve seat is present comprising of two valves, namely compensating and compression valves. During compression, when the piston rod moves down, the flow valve opens and the oil flows into the upper working chamber. It also causes the compression valve inside the base valve seat to open and oil flow to the reserve chamber or oil reservoir, thereby compressing the nitrogen gas. During rebound, the piston moves upwards and the rebound valve opens, which makes the oil flow into the lower working chamber. Due to the vacuum created inside the lower working chamber and the pressurized gas in the oil reservoir causes the suction of the oil from the oil reservoir. Now coming to the design. This design is known as twin tube X over. Like, like the reservoir shop's design, the twin tube X over have a separate reservoir in which the low pressure nitrogen gas is present. Some of the benefits provided by twin tube X over are more powerful adjustment due to the much larger amount of fluid passed through the valves and independent adjustment means a change on one adjuster doesn't affect the other's flow. Various advantages offered by nitro gas filled twin tube shop absorbers are they are less expensive, less amount of stress on seams due to low pressure nitrogen gas. These shocks are more durable against the road debris. External damage to the shell case does not affect the inner cylinder. The disadvantages are they can, be they can be installed in one position only and the piston size is smaller. The advantages offered by nitro shock absorbers are they provide instantaneous response because the nitrogen gas eliminates the foaming. There is no need for readjustment. The main advantage offered is that it has strong adaptability and can adapt to a variety of road conditions. The disadvantages are the technical requirements for inflation are high and it is very difficult to repair when damaged. It is shocked and deformed, it will basically stop working completely. The requirements for oil seals are very high and the cost is relatively expensive. Now, coming to the applications of shock absorbers. They are used in cars, light trucks, SUVs, vans, jeep, sports cars, race cars, etc. These are also designed for lowered and stock vehicles, heavy and commercial vehicles. Now, coming to the reference slide, these are the references from where I have done my research from. Now, coming to the end, I hope you all enjoyed this session. Thank you.